Hi, I'm Johnny with OnlineLabels.com, and today I'm going to answer your most frequently asked questions about using our sticker paper with silhouette cutting machines. Silhouette cutting machines can be a really valuable tool for a lot of crafters and small business owners. Using our sticker paper, you can cut your own custom sticker designs and even make product labels. Here are some of the questions we get asked the most when it comes to using our sticker paper with silhouette machines. Getting a registration error when using glossy sticker paper is a common issue when you use a silhouette cameo machine. The sensors of the silhouette machine have trouble reading the registration marks of the sticker paper when the surface of the paper is reflected. One way to get around this is to tape over the registration marks with clear matte tape. This should reduce the shininess over the registration marks and make it easier for the silhouette to read. This issue is most common with the Cameo 4, but the tips can be applied to other silhouette cutting machines as well. First, check that your blade is loaded correctly. It should sit flush in carriage one. Next, check the cover on the auto blade is screwed on tightly. If those steps don't work, look at your auto blade while it's tapping before it starts cutting. The red line on the auto blade should reset to zero and move forward with each tap. If it's not doing that, that means that the blade depth is not changing. To fix this, try these steps. First, remove the cap to your auto blade and make sure there is no debris in the blade cap. Then, turn off your machine and move the auto blade carriage back and forth three times. Turn your machine back on and it will reset your auto blade carriage position. Finally, make sure there is no firmware update needed. You can do this by first making sure you have the most recent version of Silhouette Studio downloaded. If you do, plug in your machine and if there are any firmware updates available, it will be notified in the send panel. If none of these fixes work, you can override the auto blade and use it as a manual blade, also known as a ratchet blade. To do this, in the Silhouette Studio, go to the Send panel and find the default cut settings. Remove the auto blade and change the blade depth on it, moving the red line to the default setting from your Send panel. Put the auto blade back and go back into the Send panel of Silhouette Studio. Change the action to cut and the tool to ratchet blade or one millimeter manual blade, depending on your version of Silhouette Studio. Now, when you send the cut, it'll override the auto blade and match the settings you set in Silhouette Studio. You may have seen our article where we list out all of our recommended cut settings for our sticker paper materials. It should be noted that our settings are meant to be used as a baseline to get users in the range of which settings should work, and they may need to be slightly adjusted. This can be due to a number of factors, including wear and tear on the blade, or even the cutting mat you use. If our provided cut settings don't work for you, here are some steps you can use to adjust. If your cut settings are only slightly off and you need to adjust your settings by small increments, adjust the force setting. If you need to adjust your settings by larger increments, adjust the blade setting. If you are trying to do a full cut on a thicker material, you may need to increase the number of passes to achieve a clean cut. This number tells the silhouette how many times it needs to cut the design. You can also test your setting using the test cut feature in Silhouette Studio. This is usually a common problem with brand new cutting mats where the adhesive is too strong to peel off your sticker paper. It'll become less sticky over time, but you can help speed up the process by dabbing it with a clean cotton material like a t-shirt or a pillowcase. Silhouette also sells a light tack mat that you can use. When removing your sticker paper from the mat, try pulling the mat away from your sticker paper instead of pulling your sticker paper from the mat. This should help with tearing and will also prevent your sticker paper from curling after removing it from the mat. 
You can also use the Silhouette spatula or something similar to help remove your sticker paper from the mat. If you have any other questions about using our sticker paper with Silhouette cutting machines, feel free to leave them down in the comments. To learn more about our sticker paper products, check us out at onlinelabels.com.